seed on the ground and you praise God, there will certainly become, it will bring forth and harvest. So praise is what waters your seed. When you sow a seed, praise God. The most exciting season for a farmer is the rainy season, true of us. While everybody, probably rain is falling now, so people are complaining, ah, the rain is too much. There's somebody somewhere thanking God for the rain. Because it is what brings forth harvest to him. What brings harvest to him is the rain. Hallelujah. While you are complaining of too much rain, the farmer is excited about the rain. If there is no rain, the farmer gets angry. I decree for somebody here, stretch your hands towards me. All your seeds sown in this season, in this year, as you praise God in this service, it shall yield the increase in the name of Jesus. Some of us have sown seeds for open doors. Some of us have sown seeds, maybe in your church in the places, or probably in this place, or somewhere you have sown seed and you have not seen result. As you praise God in this service, may your seed bring forth harvest in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Joel chapter 1, verse 11 to 12. Joel chapter 1, verse 11 to 12. Please put it up. Joel, be ye ashamed, O ye husbandmen, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the belly, because the harvest of the field is perished. The harvest is dying. The harvest is dying. Everyone look at it. Oh. Verse 12. The vine is dried up, and the fig tree languisheth. The pomegranate tree, the palm tree also, and the apple tree, even all the trees of the field are withered. Because joy is withered. You don't praise God with a murmuring heart. You praise God with a joyful spirit. You know the reason why people don't get their harvest is because of murmuring. Complain. There are people who complain. Every small thing complain. Stay away from people who murmur. Stay away from people. If you follow people who murmur, you start and start start get you start and having that bad habit of murmuring. Every time they come to you, is complain how things did not work, and they will still come and convince you why it will not work for you. They will tell you, ah, I have been following midnight prayer. Midnight prayer. Why is it that my life is still like this? It's like the midnight prayer is not working. They will want to convince and confuse you why it you should not continue. Stay away from people that drag your joy. Stay away from people that make you sad. And because you can't draw from the well of salvation with sadness and murmuring. Bible says, with joy shall you draw from the well of salvation. Anytime you are excited, you are opening the door for breakthrough. Excitement over the things that God has done for you. We murmur too much. God has done so much for you. That you woke up this morning is a miracle. Hello, church. You woke up this morning is a miracle. Do you know how many persons that slept and didn't wake up? Do you know? Do you know how many persons that slept healthy woke up in the hospital? Do you know? And yet somebody came healthy to church and still murmuring. Did you see what happened to the field? Everything was drying up because there was no joy. The harvest was dying. There was harvest, but it was perishing because of what? No joy. No joy. Some of you that have the habit of saying things like, oh, boy, I found out this, oh, boy, no joy. No, stop that. What in the happen now? No joy. No, stop saying that. Stop using your word to bring sadness into your life. If somebody asks you, oh, boy, how far? It's your more everywhere set. Look to somebody, say everywhere set. If your neighbor didn't say it, say to another person, it is fatal. Faith is calling those things that be not as though they were. Look to somebody, say everywhere is true. Correct. Put your hands together for Jesus. You know, life and death is in the power of the tongue. What you say is what you have. What you confess is what you possess. Is somebody following this morning? Hang around joyful people. Do you know there are people that even when it is carried, they are soaking. They are excited. Yes, Look for them. Those who should be your friends. They are contented. Hoping for the future. Hoping for what God is said to do in their life. Only Gary. They soak the Gary. 
with joy. I have soaked Gary with joy. You don't have conflicts today. Praise God and soak the Gary flakes you have. Put salt. If you don't have salt, if you have sugar, put sugar. Put milk. Put it together. One day, a day will come. You know, anytime you see yourself in a particular level, there's another level waiting for you. So thank God for the level you have and enjoy that level so that you can have grace to enjoy the next level. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Those of you drinking Gary now, thank God for the Gary. A time is coming, you'll be eating chicken, 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 chicken. Me, I'm tired of eating chicken. Mama called yesterday, say, are you, are we not going to buy? I said, I don't tire for chicken. I'm tired of chicken. Don't be every day chicken, 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 chicken. You get to a level where you are, you know that you have grown past a certain thing. Joy. Be excited, sir. Be excited. When we are praising God now, don't look at your neighbor. Don't look at the neighbor's eye ill. Don't say, I, if I say the way I dress now, nah, don't get clothed. Oh. Thank God, though. Thank God. Don't say, hey, see my shoe. Some people be, thank God that you have leg to wear shoe. There are people who are praying, oh God, I wish this leg can grow. Let me just put slippers. But you have leg and you are complaining on shoe. With joy shall you draw from the well of salvation. So praise is the gateway to supernatural harvest. Number two, praise releases supernatural increase and multiplication. Praise releases supernatural increase and what? Multiplication. Now, please don't be mistaken. You know, where you are now is not the best of God though. So we are here. It's not the best of God. There is another level. There is another dimension. Some of us are enjoying one small level now. There is another level waiting for you. Hey, this is not where you are supposed to be. Say, this is not where I am supposed to be. Amen. This is not it. There is still realms of increase. There is still realms of increase. Jeremiah 30 verse 21. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. Put it up. Jeremiah 30 verse 21. Jeremiah 30 21. Hallelujah. 30, 21. Are you there? <laughs> and their nobles shall be themselves and their governors shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause him to draw near and shall approach me for who is that engages at to approach unto me? Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now, listen to this very importantly. It is important you know that where you are is not the best of where God wants you to be. When this understanding dawns on you, you begin to yearn for the next level of your life. I decree after today's praise, smallness will dry off from your life. I say smallness will dry off from your life. In the name of Jesus. In John chapter 6 verse 9, Jesus, uh, Jesus lifted up the insufficient and everywhere stew. The insufficient. Put it up. There's a lot here. Which had five belly loaves, two small fishes. But what are they among so many? Very small. If you read down, he lifted it up, praised the Lord. And he praised him. And he gave thanks. If you read that, and Jesus said, make them... Read that, and Jesus took the loaves, and when he have gave thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and everywhere stew, and everywhere set. I pray for somebody. Stretch your hands towards me. This altar is working. Oh, stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. I pray for you. As you give God quality praise in this service, everywhere we set for you. Your amen is looking for my trouble. Will you shout aloud, amen? Mm. in praise increase and multiplication is released number three praise provokes i have two more to go number three praise provokes supernatural breakthrough psalms 22 verse 3 praise pro 
Oh, Fox! Supernatural what? Somebody here, you are breaking through. Mm. When I say amen, you, when I say you should say amen, say amen very well. Though. Somebody here, you are breaking through. Amen. You are breaking through. Amen. Before December, everything around you will turn around. Amen. I'm not talking about before December. Before first of December, that miracle you are trusting God for will enter your hand. Before the first of December, that breakthrough you are trusting God for will enter your hand. Psalm 22, verse 3. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises, O thou. That inhabits the praises of his people. That scripture says God comes to live. Now we have terrestrial habitat. That's where we live now. Now habitat talks about a place of survival. An ecosystem where an organism or a living thing can survive. So we have the terrestrial habitat. In this habitat we have oxygen that helps us to survive. Uh, we, all, we also have the aquatic habitat. Am I correct? The aquatic habitat is the water. If you are a terrestrial, you cannot survive in the aquatic. Only fishes and all the aquatic lives can survive in the aquatic. So we have the aquatic. We have the terrestrial. We also have what we call celestial. That's a spiritual habitat. Come on. Nobody should distract me here. I want to pour something into somebody's spirit now. Hello, are you here? God has his own natural habitat where he survives. Without the habitat, if he comes out of that jurisdiction, he doesn't survive in that place. He will move. That habitat is called praise. Praise is God's natural habitat. Any life that is praiseful, we have God dwell in it. Anytime you begin to praise God, God starts looking for, for that place. No wonder Paul and Silas, they prayed, prayed, prayed. Nothing happened. When they began to praise, God said, ah, where is that five-star hotel with AC? I need to come dwell there. And anytime God enters a place, everywhere they scatter. Bible says, suddenly there was an earthquake. He moved in. And you know I told you that God doesn't just move. He moves with entourage. And he doesn't just move with Angel Michael and J.K. Bread. He moves the heaven. Hmm. Oh thou that inhabitest. He inhabites. He comes to live. He comes to dwell. Imagine you living a praiseful life every day. It's simple. It means every day you enjoy God. When God is around, no world can, can hold him. Psalms 114, verse 2 to 3. Psalm 114. Judah was his sanctuary and Israel. Judah was his sanctuary and Israel. Judah was his sanctuary. Judah means praise. That means praise is where he lives. Judah was his sanctuary. Judah means praise. Now, let me share this. My eyes are open. Oh. Amen. Do you know that this morning as I was, as I was sharing... Sorry, as I was studying, something entered me. A revelation hit me. Should I share it? Or I should leave it for another day? Now, while I was studying, listen to me. While I was studying, the Lord asked me a question. He said, do you know why the Red Sea opened? We are talking about open doors here. Open doors. Somebody say open doors. Do you know why the Red Sea opened? Now, God took me to the journey. He said, now, he told Moses to keep moving. He said, I'm with you. Behind them was what? Was the Egyptians, right? In front of them was what? The Red Sea. If they go back, they'll go back to captivity. If they move forward, they are entering the Red Sea. But God said, Mo Moses, Move forward. Keep moving. I am with you. <laughs> Go
God say, I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. So when God is with you, it means he's the one that is going to open the door. God gave me an illustration. Come, sir. Officer, come. There's what to call automatic door. Hello, church. There's what to call what? If you go to hotels, there's what to call automatic doors. Those automatic doors have what to call sensor. Am I right? Sir, come. Step on this altar. This is the automatic door. Eh? Now, by the way it is being designed, you don't need to open it. Once you are coming, it senses you and opens. God said, I am with you. God is the one that has the automatic sensor. This guy doesn't have it. So he said, let's move. As we move closer, the senses God. And the door is not just opening because of, because of, it opens because if the door opens for God, it opens for him. So if God is with you, as you approach any door, door of marriage, door of breakthrough, business breakthrough, he said, I am with you on to the end of the earth. So if God is with you, Bible says, if God be for you, who can be against you? So God is with you and you are coming and there is a door that was shut against you and you keep coming with God. As you approach God, the door senses God and opens for you. God said to me, that is how I opened the Red Sea. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> hey! Look at it. Look at it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Now, Bible said in uh, verse 3 of Psalms. Go to verse 3. Judah was a sanctuary and Israel was his dominion. Verse 3. The sea saw Judah. The sea saw it and fled. The sea fled. The sea fled. Do you know what it means? Some of you don't have the understanding of what praise can do. Let me show you. Do you know what it means for a sea to divide? If it's a swimming pool, it's easy. It's not swimming pool, though. A sea, it has to go depth, 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 depth. And the people were coming. And they walked through it. It was not the people. It was God. And God told me this morning that if I am with you, I carry the sensor that opens every door. <laughs> Stretch your hands towards me this morning. By our praises to God, every door that needs to open in your life, as we render praise this morning, it is open in the name of Jesus. The sea saw it and fled. Somebody has to praise God. Every stagnation in your life, Every limitation in your life breaks in the name of Jesus. Breaks in the name of Jesus. God told me, relax. I am with you. The door doesn't know you, but the door knows me. Come again, sir. In your family, not you. In the family, say nobody gets married. That means the door of marriage has been closed. And you are with God. All you need to do is to keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. When you get to that door. Where they say nobody gets married. Because the door may not know you. But the door knows God. As you approach. That sense recognizes. 
and gives you access into the door. Gives you access. <laughs> there are some sweet things that the Holy Spirit shares with me this period that are so new that releases faith, injects faith into my system. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, God is with me. Say, they say, God is with me. I heard it very clearly. What you call a manual door is an automatic door to God. So if you approach any door with God, it picks the sensor. And because everything responds to God, it opens. Let me tell you, some doors don't just open. There are some doors that should not open. Some doors are meant to be broken. I'm talking with anger. Somebody here. That door that was shut in your family, it will not just open, no. it will scatter. <laughs> you don't understand now. They say nobody will build a house and complete that house. It will get on your own top. It will not just open. It will bro be broken. Can you raise your hand as I prophesy to you wherever you are? Every door that has been shut against you, as you praise God this morning, may that door be broken in the name of Jesus. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Doors of financial increase, doors of breakthrough, doors of success. It looks like your business is not working. As we praise God this morning, the door of business breakthrough will open. Now, some things are strange that gets into my spirit. There are scriptures I read now. When I read them, I know that something has jumped into me. I have been praying and reading with the book of Acts chapter 16 verse 25. At midnight, Paul and Silas praised this, this, this. Do you know that after God intervened, suddenly there was an earthquake and all that and all that. The people did not leave because they already have the key. If it was praise that opened the door, even if the magistrate comes again and closes the door, they know what to do. They didn't leave. It was the magistrate that said, ah, we heard that the door is open. No. Come and go. Go to verse 35, please. 35. Acts of Apostles 16, verse 25. 35. If he took place to open the door, it will take place to open another door. <laughs> Acts 16, 35. Is it 35? Yes. Put it up. Hey. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. 35. Is it there? Acts of Apostles 16, 35. Who is on the table? 16. 25 or so. Is it 25? Put 25. Hallelujah. Now read. Acts. You are putting some when I say Acts. Me did not deliver your brain. 35. Oh, it's not even showing. <laughs> you want me to read another thing? Praise God. I want you to see Acts of Apostle. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Is he up? Okay. And when it was day, that they were set free at when? What time? It was at midnight. But they remained inside there with confidence or more. They were there till morning. They did run. So it was not jailbreak. It was freedom indeed. There is difference between freedom and freedom indeed. Freedom is that you are free and you are running. Police did they follow you. You are free, but you are not free indeed. These guys wanted to fulfill all scripture. They were free, but they wanted to be free indeed. It was praise that set them free. They knew, even if they caught them again, they will praise again. So they stayed till when? In the morning. The, when it was day, the magistrate sent the sergeant saying, let those men go. So you can see. Kalisho Bahara Shazeketia Lusani Kohosha Beri Zabo Shakata Straight your hands towards me now. Every door that was shut against you opens in the name of Jesus. I don't care what they have said concerning you. I don't care the verdict that has
has been written about you. They say you will not rise above the level you are. I said the devil is a liar. You will rise in the name of Jesus. You will rise in the name of Jesus. You will rise in the name of Jesus. Rise to your feet and shout the loudest amen. We are going to praise God. I'm already feeling it in my spirit. How many of you are ready to praise God? Now, finally, praise is the highway to high places. Between now and 1st of November, someone will enter into a new level. God will elevate you to your new level. After this month, people that are looking for you will look for you at this level, won't see you. They will, they will look up to look for you. People looking for you will have to look up in order to see you. God will change your level and change your story. Rise to your feet and say violent amen. Bible said, and there was an earthquake. If you read down in verse, see, there was an earthquake. Suddenly, immediately, suddenly. Please put Acts of Apostle, chapter 16, verse 25. Suddenly, immediately. Those two words here, eh, they caught my attention. They are revelation to me. Suddenly, they praised. Suddenly, immediately. Admit that Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and prisoners heard them. Go down. And suddenly, when he prays, and suddenly, there was what? An earthquake. When God comes, the place will quake. And what brings God is praises. He inhabits the praise of his people. The place will quake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Listen to me. The foundation, every wrong foundation in your life, God will correct them as you praise God this morning. The foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately, suddenly, and immediately all the doors how many doors how many doors there is what we call the key of david that key is one key that key is the key that opens all the door prayer they say is the master key is not true praise is the master key praise is what praise i told you last sunday eh, abby prayer focuses on the problem praise is focuses on the problem solver so when you begin to praise not this anyhow praise when we begin to praise now some people will be looking at their makeup forget that makeup who make up help when they say praise god now some people will be looking at your akbola who your akbola help who did your your who your bone straight help or your short straight <laughs> who help your, your face if you find you not get money forget it find face without money is no face. <laughs> you know, follow. So, see, when we begin to praise God now, eh, scatter the floor. Some people will be looking at their neighbor. He does this and everything. Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Lift him up, Hallelujah. Who you they form for? God, where he change your story? Abna, your neighbor, they form for. Hallelujah. And you are, you are local. Hale. This, the, your brother that is close to you is scattering the floor. <laughs> you, you are there for me. After now, you carry guy man go house. Hunger defies you. <laughs> Story never change. Oh. I praise one kind praise. I praise last, so last week Friday. Last week Friday. I scatter the floor. Those of you that used to follow the midnight prayer. I used to dance. So. <laughs> Deliberately, I please, 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 please. I enter trance from praise. I am not just preaching and practicing, and my life is changing. I am not who I used to be. My life is changing. I'm practicing what I preach. Last Sunday, we praise God. There was, see, the increase God gave me was like. After praises last Sunday, 
As I was coming back on Monday, Tuesday from Wari, I went to Benin. It was, I've never, that level, it was another level. God broke me to another level financially. You think that praise we gave last Sunday was normal? It was abnormal praise for abnormal breakthrough. Somebody here, get ready. Yes, if your mind is not here to praise God, bring it here. If you don't have a dancing shoe, borrow one. Because you're going to praise God. Are you ready? Yes, if you are ready, shout, I am ready. I am ready. Hey, hallelujah. Can I have the instrumentalist? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let me have the instrumentalist here. I want to pray for you. Between now, between now and next week Sunday, God will give you a testimony. I told God I'm going to be blessing him with everything I have. Can you rise to your feet? We are going to worship God for just five minutes. Just worship. And then I'm going to call Minister Humble. Minister Humble, are you here? Is Minister Humble in the church? I will call Minister Humble to take us in a prophetic time of praise. And I want you to praise God though, like you have never done. Do you have an anchor chief here? Does anyone have an anchor chief? Okay, if you have an anchor chief, break it up. Do like this. I want us to worship God for five minutes and then i will call on minister humble hallelujah let's appreciate minister praise to come and take us in just five minutes of worship if she's here is she here hallelujah Come on, begin to appreciate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He's the way maker, the Oshimaniata. Begin to appreciate him for what he has done. You've heard his word. Begin to declare it in your life. Begin to prophesy it to yourself like that. He said in his word, his word he has sent forth and it would never return back for it. Begin to appreciate God because of his faithfulness. Begin to appreciate God for his glorious. Begin to appreciate God because he's wonderful. If you're expecting me to sing a song now, you're, you're wasting your time. I said, open your mouth and begin to appreciate God. You don't know, I don't know what he has done for you. I don't know what he has done for you. I don't know that thing you've been asking God to do for you. But begin to appreciate the name of the Lord because he has done it already. Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Jesus, your baby is coming. All I've come to say.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. In the mighty name of Jesus. Are you ready to praise God this morning? We just have 10 minutes of hot prophetic praise. Hallelujah. I will need another microphone for Minister Humble, not this. So they should give him the other microphone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Does anybody have a dancing shoe here? If you have a dancing shoe, say Jesus. Igwe. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Okay, you can pick one of the mic. Okay, you have it there. Praise God. With a sound of joy. Let's welcome Minister Humble as we take up 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Please, as we praise God, scatter the show. Forget about your neighbor. And let's praise God. If you're ready, Minhas, can you make some noise under the door? If you have your right, even though it's purple, you can raise it. Can you just wave? Just wave it to Jesus. Just wave it to Jesus. Wave it! 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 Let's go. 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 Let's
is right. If you are sick in this place, be healed. Take that keyboard up. If you are sick, everyone raise your hand. Watching me from the internet or wherever you are watching from. If you are sick anywhere in your body, right now, let the power of the Holy Ghost healing everywhere. There's somebody here the Lord just took away that abnormal disorder in your in your menses. God just healed you. God just healed you. La so so beko basata na kovalakata. God just took away that pain. God just took away that pain. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name. And somebody say amen. amen. Were well, you blessed this morning? Amen. Celebrate Jesus with a clap. I hope we are still streaming. Are we still streaming? Praise the Lord. Please take your seat. We'll be closing very shortly. We have some little things. We have packaged like foodstuffs. And um, it is just by the help of God that we are able to do it. And we want to keep doing it. Amen. It's not every time you go to church and they say, bring offering, bring seed, bring that. And you know you are hungry. There are people who come to church, they don't have hope of what to eat. And um, by God's grace, we have been able to provide a little. And I want to announce it. I promised the church I'm going to announce something last month. Ending of the month of November, I am opening three bills in this church couple with the food stocks we'll give out at the end of the month. I'm opening women bill, men bill and children bill. Amen. So all you need to do is come to church and take clothes. Select. 
and full stops will be in church enough full stops will be in church at the ending of the month the last Sunday of the month of November all to the glory of God please if you are joining us for the first time there is a paper that is going around try and include your number your name for us we want to call you we want to follow you up we want to love you we want to care for you because that is what Christianity is about we want to we want to reach out to you amen I want to have you here as often as you can come here this is the house of God where you can experience freedom and liberty for yourself and for your family in the name of Jesus the month is ending the month is ending by tomorrow by today today the month is ending today all right so tomorrow we're supposed to have our covenant service but 6 a.m i will not be in port Harcourt. i'll be in worry so 6 a.m there is a radio link we have a radio an online radio i want to get that data with your family 6 a.m tune in i am going to be praying with you on radio from wherever i am to launch you into the new month hallelujah so prepare yourself wake up early prepare your family and if you don't have the radio link that is the reason i need your numbers everyone so that we can broadcast the link to you all you need to do is to have an android phone click on the link and it will take you direct to the radio where you can listen to us 6 a.m 6 a.m there are people listening to us from the internet from all over the world so they can also be a part of it to the glory of god amen our 21 the month of november i will declare the month of november in the morning and what god is saying for the month of november but the month of november by god's special grace we are starting our 21 days prayer and fasting nobody is happy anyway some people don't like fasting <laughs> when they say fast probably i don't bustle where they say food everywhere stew <laughs> fast nobody will say amen please we are fasting you don't do chop 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 <laughs> let us pray and fast 21 days is a time to prepare ourselves for the year 2022 it's starting in the month of november the day to be announced tomorrow morning hallelujah by god's grace on the 19th friday 19th God is sending me to the city of Benin for a special prayer and breakthrough night. Celebrate Jesus. So we are going to Benin and I also want to thank God for what God is doing in our Wari church. Um, our building in Wari is almost completed. Somebody help me celebrate Jesus. Almost. In fact, it is completed. Praise the Lord and we are still looking at shifting the date backward to you know to dedicate that place we actually have december 12th we're having a special meeting from the second third and fourth of december in this place and it has is our annual global prayer conference three days annual global prayer conference everyone to begin to anticipate begin to expect Please, everybody outside, I command you to come inside in the name of the Lord. Everybody outside, including those ushers that I am seeing dancing outside. Anything that is making you to dance outside, dance it inside. Amen. Praise the Lord. So prepare yourself for that and God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to give our offering. We are going to take our offering and tithe and then take our testimony then to round up to this section my one and only koozie chase my one and only koozie chase we trail us with some yeah yo yo more yo yo amen praise god if you are a tighter god has blessed you and you want to return your tight please step forward if you have an offering please package the offering and rise to your feet everyone rise to your feet let's give to god you are a tighter please you are a tighter please step forward quickly quickly 
as you come forward begin to appreciate God for giving you the privilege to tithe when you tithe you are saying God I'm not greedy I only obey you thank you for blessing me with this token I've come to give you 10 percent Bible said bring it all the tithe into the storehouse so that there will be meat in my house and then I will open up the windows of heaven and pour thee a blessing and pour thee a blessing open your mouth and pray say father thank you thank you for this privilege to tithe and to bring my one tent thank you in Jesus precious name in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for everyone as you tithe things will not be tight in the mighty name of Jesus I declare that your band shall overflow with fruitfulness your business will not go down your fee, your source of finance will not go down you are blessed this week within and without in the mighty name of Jesus and somebody say a big amen please everyone sitting rise to your feet and raise your offering please you can cast your tithe raise your offering raise your offering as high as you can raise the offering as high as you can speak a word and send that offering a message Lord as I offer I will not suffer as I offer I will not suffer open your mouth and send your offering a message in the name of Jesus Bible said give and it shall be given great measure shaking together running over shall men let this be our experience God I pray for you to these hands that are lifted up lift it up lift your offering as you give to God I prophesy before you get to your house may you reap the harvest of your giving in the name of Jesus your offering is received in Jesus precious name please you can take your seat wherever you are take your seat wherever you are and cast your offering glory to God I have two testimonies here two testifiers precious Igidiba and brother Sonny please step forward quickly God has God thought this once I was blind now I can see please nobody singing if you want to sing join the choir just go straight to the point once I was blind now I can see glory to God quickly go straight to the point Praise God. I I just want to thank God for for saving me. Can I have the net, the other microphone? Okay. Yes, let me have that. Thank you. All right. Praise God. I just want to thank the Almighty God for for saving my life. I was seriously sick. It's a miracle, honestly. It's a miracle. Um, I don't want to say much. I'm here to return all the glory to God. Hallelujah. For my life for saving me from that sickness. Please and celebrate God, God, everyone. Celebrate God. Your healing is permanent in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. I'm here to thank God for his goodness upon my life, for what he has done. And above all, two weeks ago, in our midnight prayer, Papa said, Somebody has been having migraine. As soon as we finish, deep your in the water and shout Jesus Christ seven times. I did. Since then, that migraine stopped. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Your testimony is permanent. Good morning, church. My name is Good News Nerechi. When I came earlier, today is my first day attending here. So when I came early this morning, I was very sick. I was feverish and all. Oh, when the pastor prayed for the sick, right now I'm feeling so good. Wow. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Don't sing. Be brief. If you are not brief, I will send you back. Just tell us what God did for you. Hallelujah. <laughs> I want to thank God for sparing my life. A few weeks ago, we were filming and after we were done for the day, I called the boss that would take us back to our hotel. The boss was filled up, so I stood at the door. At some point, we got to a bad spot. I came down, I told the driver to pass that place before I would join them. So as the vehicle was coming, I stood on top of the car. Before you know it, the door punched the other of my leg. 
and I was seeing my bone for the first time. But to God be the glory, we got to the hospital, they sewed the leg, and at least I can walk well now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to Jesus. Your healing is permanent. Good morning, church. My name is Don Jonathan. Uh, I really want to appreciate God for what God did for me. Last Sunday, I just testified for 20 years at the Glasgow Beach that God gave us in our ministry. Since I submitted my ministry to Papa, God has been faithful. Yesterday, Pastor Fred called me and asked me if I have a process. I said, no, sir. He said I should come to his church while I was preparing to come for evangelism. So I couldn't come for evangelism. I had to go to that place. Behold, God has blessed us with a drum set in the ministry. Hallelujah. What a faithful God. Awesome. Awesome. Do you people have microphone? You don't have microphone. I will buy you a microphone. After church, come and pick. <laughs> come and take the money. <laughs> Let me, when you testify, God will do more for you. In fact, the way he's kneeling down, somebody is telling me to buy a speaker. <laughs> Amen. There's one amp we have. We used to use a worry. I brought it back. It's a very good amp. It's new. We are giving it to you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You, see, he keep testifying. And that's how God blesses people. Amen. Some of you, God do one thing for you. They want siding. You will not testify. <laughs> so that God will do more. Ten lepers were healed. Only one came to say thank you. Amen. See, when we say the last amen, I am going to position in that place. I would love to give you a handshake, everybody, and hand over those little things. Myself and my wife, we will do it and give it to you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate my wife who has been so supportive very beautiful side cheek and main cheek amen you get it if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> hallelujah let's welcome i think i have it's just five minutes let's welcome koozie chase hallelujah Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is anyone happy to be in the presence of God this morning? So in the book of John chapter 8 verse 36, um, the Bible says, And if the Son shall therefore make you free, you are free indeed. And Papa said, it's the difference between being free and being free indeed. Do you agree with that? So I'm going to teach you a little song. Please say after me, by the grace of God. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I need you to personalize it. This is the last day in October, and October is a month of freedom, right? Freedom indeed. So say, by the grace of God, I am free for sure. We did it all on the cross of Calvary. In Jesus, I have victory. And yes, indeed, I am free forever. Are we ready? By the pranks of God, I am free for sure. Yes, he did it all on the cross of Calvary. Jesus, I have been to me. Yes, I did it all free forever. For sure, for sure. By the pranks of God, I am free for sure. Yes, he did it all on the cross of Calvary. I tried to have over my life before me. A good for nothing that they thought they called me. See, this place my life, I can tell me. See, I'll be down, down. Yeah. I'll be down, down. Yeah. I didn't make the movement, I was a lockdown. But yeah. the first time I showed me, please count down. See, if the sun shall get for set to free, you're free indeed to judge me. The only best like you should be, the moment that is got to be, the realest that is doing this field. So, by the grace of God, I am free for sure. Yes, it is. I don't know how to sing, so 
God to give up. A little bit of hope, a little bit of trust. As you give the face to the living God, but your hands up, you don't lift them up, up to the sky. Pray if he says, keep me watch over me with his holy eyes. No impending play with me like his rolling dice. I don't want to see him cause he's seeing the pain to fight. See, we know that as you all be. We did it all on the cross of the set feet. Any man with the fuck of my infancy, no be rushed, no be beast, no be laundry. Cause I be downtown, stuck it out for a while. Give me Mr. Wood, make a way for long time, but my past power showed me. Cause it comes by sea, you can show us a dead percent to free your feet. rise to your feet. God bless you. Amen, 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 amen. Were you blessed into this service? Were you blessed into this service? Tell somebody to tell somebody to tell somebody that next week Sunday is going to be awesome in this house. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please, we are going to say the last amen. As we say the last amen, I need our ushers and our elders to please help me. What we will do, I will be there so you can um huh? okay like this so someone is going to direct you so i we can give you what we are going to give to you hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah are we still streaming praise the lord hallelujah amen all right raise your hands above your head in the name of jesus Father, we thank you. Lord, let this service, let this meeting be a memorable one. Even as we have blessed you, let the blessings we have received be permanent in the name of Jesus. Father, the little that we have to share, bless it. Bless it in the name of Jesus. Let us take it with joy. In Jesus' precious name. And somebody say amen. amen. Somebody say another amen. amen. Let's share the grace one too. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Again, say, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Finally, declare, say, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. What do you say to somebody? 
my year of breaking protocols freedom indeed look to somebody say your year of breaking protocols freedom indeed god bless you please let's do a re arrangement elders did dickens please help us i want to know why the live stream is not working and i want it to work now praise the lord somebody should find out pastor Asi and the rest people should find out why the live stream is not on Please take the children back to their home. Please send the children back to their home. Okay, we are going to first of all attend to those that are coming for the first time. Those that are coming for the first time will attend to you first. Those coming for the first time will attend to you first. Those joining us, this is your first time, please. Our elders, please help us. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. God bless you, Jesus. You are the ruler of my life. I found you better. God bless you. You are worthy to be praised in all generations. There is no one like you. I'm gonna make that you are ready to be broke. Uh -huh. 